What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in once again. This is another one of Hoggy's Beer Reviews and not only are we back to craft beer, but this is some this is some classic shit right here. Um, this is a beer that I've been sitting on for almost a year now. This is a beer that has basically been aging for over a year now. This is a beer um, that was a very big deal, still is, um, in the craft beer world. And this was a gift from my buddy Howard. Howie, my, my, my man from, from uh, Hurricane Wings in Vero Beach. Howie, last time I saw him, he hooked me up with a bunch of beers. And this was one of them. This is from Dogfish Head Brewery. This is the Miles Davis Bitches Brew. And this is from Batch 1. That's right, Miles Davis Bitches Brew. Um, for those who don't know about this, and I told you I was going to get back to craft beer earlier today, I reviewed Natty Daddy, a malt liquor from, uh, from uh, Anheuser-Busch, you know, straight swill. Had fun with it, 8% alcohol, it was all good, I did that when I came home from work, but now I already had dinner, it's, you know, it's 9.15 at night, it's time for a real beer, and I'm finally cracking this thing open. So for those of you who don't know the story behind Miles Davis Bitches Brew, I'll make it quick. Um, this beer was brewed in summer 2010 to commemorate the 40 year anniversary of Miles Davis' Bitches Brew album. For those who don't know, and I'm sure a lot of you might not, we're talking about Miles Davis, the jazz musician. His Bitches Brew album in 1970 was a groundbreaking album, and 40 years later, Dogfish Head has brewed this beer to commemorate the release of that album. This is an ale brewed with honey and guisho. Um, I'll just read what it says here. It says, Miles Davis' seminal Bitches Brew album was a game changer, a bold fusion of rock, funk, and jazz. To honor the 40th anniversary release, Dogfish Head has created a bold, dark beer that's a fusion of three threads, imperial style, and one thread honey beer with guisho root. Like the album, this beer will age with the best of them. To hear the music and the story that inspired the beer, go to milesdavis.com slash brew. Okay, so that's the beer. Basically an imperial stout with honey and guisho root. This is 9% alcohol by volume, and this beer was originally released in June 2010. I was given this bottle like around March, April 2011. It is now January 2012. And this is batch one, the original 2010 brewing. Um, they did brew batch two of this beer in November 2011. That's why I say batch one, because there is a batch two that was brewed a few months ago um, towards the end of 2011. This is from batch one. This has been sitting for a while, and I've been waiting for the right moment to crack it open, and today's the day. That's right. Um, so yeah, man. I mean, I can appreciate a good stout. I like stouts, um, imperial stouts, you know, uh, imperial porters, the richer, darker beers. I love those late at night. I love those after dinner. I love those as dessert beers. Um, and I had a nice dinner of uh, fish and veggies, you know, tasty, tasty, well seasoned, well, well sauced tilapia, actually. But um, yeah, I had a good dinner and now I want to chase it with this bitch's brew. Now, punching it up on Beer Advocate, like I always do, uh, the Beer Advocate score, out of 614 reviews, this score is a 92. Um, of course, on here, it's categorized as a Russian Imperial Stout at 9% alcohol by volume. And, you know, that, that's that, man. This is, this is Bitches Brew, an aged bottle of Bitches Brew, you know? What can you do? I mean, listen, I always say every beer has its place. I drink IPAs on a regular basis, I indulge in swill and IPAs as you can see behind me, but let's face it, a good beer is a good beer. And this is an ale brewed with honey and guisho roots, I'm just dying to see what that's all about. We break out the snifter, this bottle has been out of the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, it's warmed up hopefully enough, and I want to say, you know, it's kind of scratched. Oh well, I'm still going to save the cap. I have a red one just like it on the, on the fridge already, but red dogfish head cap, I want to save that. So, of course, big lighter. Don't try this with a Zippo. And 
Off we go. It's time for Bitches Brew. That's right. I'm just kind of excited, man. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I do have to thank my buddy Howie, because even though I love beers like this, I don't usually buy them myself. I'm, he's more of a big beer guy than me. I'm, one of, I'm a session beer guy. You know, if it's like a, a hoppy six pack, that's what I want to drink all the time. And when I see a bomber like this, no matter how much the, the style of beer may interest me, you know, the cover, the style, the ingredients, whatever, no matter how much it may interest me, I'm always a little hesitant to shell, you know, shell out, you know, eight, nine, ten, fifteen bucks for one bottle. Ten bucks will get me, you know, six beers that I can sit and drink all night because, you know, that's how I get down. So I give it to Howie. Howie loves big beers. Howie hooked me up with this. I may have never bought this for myself. I may have never tried it if it wasn't for Howie. So, Howard, buddy, thank you. Um, and off we go with Bitches Brew. Smells like an imperial stout. Definitely getting licorice, bit of dark chocolate, bit of uh, dark fruits, bit of plum. Hints of hops. Maybe just, maybe just, maybe a hint of honey. Maybe. And I mean, there's no sense in, in doing this whole, you know, what does it look like, put it up to the light shit. It's black as hell. Nice, you know, dark brown, well, a nice brownish dark khaki head that's faded away, but I mean, it's sticking to the glass nicely. It's looking good. It's looking like a good imperial step. So off we go with an aged bottle of Bitches Brew Batch 1. Cheers. That is an impressive beer. There's kind of a thickness, which is the honey, I guess it's the honey, which comes in right before that roasty, bitter finish. And it's like a syrupy sweetness that comes in right before the bitterness from the roasted malts, that astringent bitterness, you know, from, from the roastiness and the hops. Right before all that at the end comes this syrupy honey. It's mild, but it's there and it's different and it adds an extra dimension to this beer. I'm glad I sat on this for, for so long. This just has a mellow character to it. You get a small bite up front, and then you just get this rush of roasty flavors. Oh, it's almost like a coffee grounds kind of, yeah, almost like coffee grounds in the finish. But you get this, this, this roasty flavor, a little bit of bite, roasty flavor. You get that dark chocolate, that dark fruit, that licorice across the middle. Then like I said, here comes this syrupy sweetness, very quick, very mild, but it's there. And then that astringent, roasty, you know, roasty malt character, and then a mild hoppy finish. Just enough hops to kind of give you a bitter swallow. And that's it. I cannot detect alcohol whatsoever, and this is 9% alcohol by volume. Um, and I wish I could tell you, you know, I was noticing the Gisho root, but I have no idea what the hell that would taste like, so I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, but as an Imperial Stout with something extra, this is outstanding. This is outstanding. This is a glass full all the way. Um, and I think it would have been solid fresh and just even better aged like this one is. There's really not much more for me to say. 
if you can get your hands on a bottle of this stuff, batch one, batch two, batch four, five, six, it doesn't matter. If you can try this beer, try it. Especially if you like stouts, um, porters, um, black IPAs, um, black lagers, any type of dark, rich, roasty beer. If you really like that style, you really need to try this beer. This may be, actually no, this probably it. Well, actually no, this is the best beer I've had from Dogfish Head. Really got nothing else to say after that. This is outstanding. This is a glass full. This is a beer I'm going to enjoy for the next hour or so. And that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know how this goes, man. Uh, look for Hoggy on uh, Hoggy's Beer on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. And stay tuned. There's always more stuff coming on the YouTube. But um, yeah, this is this is outstanding. I'm gonna enjoy this, man. So once again, our thank you for the beer, everybody else. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.